going on? Welcome to a winter production. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking salmon on the grill. Yeah, salmon on the grill. Now this is my first time ever shooting salmon on the grill as well as cooking on the grill, okay? So uh, let me show you what we're gonna be using on the grill. Well, first of all, we're gonna be making a sauce with the country crop butter right here. Then I'm gonna put some pepper on the salmon, as well as salt, garlic powder, and to round out my sauce, I'm gonna use some lemon juice. And then I got my cloves of garlic right here that I'm gonna chop up and put in this bowl right here. And of course, I got my whole food salmon right here, big enough to feed a family of five. So this is my first time cooking this on the grill, and I want you to be there with me. All right. First thing we're gonna do is start with making the sauce. That's the sauce we're gonna put on the salmon after it's cooked so we can get that nice moisture and flavor of the garlic and the butter, all right? The first thing we're gonna do is start with the country crop butter. First of all, we let this melt. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of pepper. Not a lot. A little bit of salt. Kind of fancy, right? And then of course, some of this garlic powder. Not much, because we're gonna add garlic itself, okay? That's what these cloves are for, right here. The cloves are for, chopped up, put them in here. And then I'm gonna add it. So first of all, we're gonna give this for we're gonna give this about maybe a minute and let that melt, and then we're gonna move on. And I'm gonna show you how to put the minced garlic inside the pot of butter, and we're gonna make our sauce. All right, as you can see, we got the butter melted. All right, so now we're gonna add some of the lemon juice. All right, this gives it that little citrusy flavor. Put a little bit of that in there. I didn't measure. I kind of go on a feeling of how it's going to be and how it's going to taste. Now, the cloves have already been cut up and minced. I got them right here. And I'm going to add that to the butter. All right. Now I'm going to get a little spoon and taste a little bit to make sure everything's cooked set. On point. All right. Now, that we got the sauce ready to go and it's got the lemon flavor and the butter and the citrus, we're gonna add a little love to it. You know I like to add a little love. So now we got the sauce ready for our salmon. So when the salmon is cooking, I'm gonna take some of this and rub it on the salmon and we'll be good to go and ready to eat. So just come back with me when we get ready to put the salmon on the grill. All right, now we're gonna season up the salmon. We're not gonna make it too, we're not gonna put too much seasoning because we're gonna let our sauce give it all that flavor. All right, the sauce is gonna give it all the flavor, but right now we're gonna do a lightened season. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull out the salmon. Let me see what this joker looks like. Okay, so by this being such a large cut, we are going to season it lightly, okay? And we're gonna dry it. We're gonna dry it down because this is going on the grill. We don't want it to stick, okay? We don't want this to stick. So, right now I'm gonna start by patting it down with a paper towel, because they say you want it dry when you go to season it, okay? And then when you put it on the grill, you want it dry so it won't stick to the grill, okay? Look at that, that's a good looking joker right there. And there's all the scales, the butcher already took care of all that. So there's no scales on there. 
Now, normally, people will cut the fish up. They will cut it up and then put it on the grill. Me, I'm gonna cook this whole thing on the grill. I'm cooking the whole thing on there. I'm not gonna cut it up. I'm gonna cut it after I cook it. Put that bad joke over. Do the same thing. that oil so it doesn't stick to the grill. Research says, according to cooking salmon on the grill, for it not to stick is to cook it skin down. Now, normally, I will cook my salmon in the oven. I will cook it with the meat side down and then flip it. I will fry this side first, the skin side, and then I will flip it and cook the meat side. But on this grill, I'm gonna cook it with the skin down and hopefully everything turns out all right. Hopefully it don't stick. We're gonna try to find out, okay? So come back with me when it's time to put it on the grill. Right now, I'm prepping the grill. Put some oil on here so the fish does not stick to the grill. Actually, you want to put the biggest piece this way. Right. And we wait. All right, right now we're operating about at uh, almost 300 degrees. Let's get a shot to see. Coming along nicely. Won't be long now. Now we're gonna put some sauce on it. It's been about close to 30 minutes. Make sure it's not sticking to the grill. Let's check the back. So far, so good. Kind of slow, but that's okay. First time doing this, I'm gonna cut it a little bit. It's getting dark now, and we got a uh, little fun piece we can nibble on right there. Me and the camera. Here. Cut it so far, still not sticking. Going good. Alright, coming along, coming along. Little food of advice. If you get a thick piece, be prepared to cook it for a long time. So we're gonna cook the rest of this joker in the oven since we already got our real flavor. So right now we'll put some more of the sauce, the butter garlic sauce, on the salmon. And we're gonna finish it off in the oven since it's already got its grilled flavor. All right, now it was on the grill. 
and I've taken it out the oven just because it was a big piece and I should have cut it down, but hey, we're gonna be real on here. We're not front, we're not fronting over here, okay? All right, so let's try this out. Let's see what it tastes like. You ready? Here we go. It's good. It's real flavorable. I'm Robert Wendell, Wendell Production. Peace.